The first t-shirt I have is this Star Bucky t-shirt. My friend and I got the same t-shirt and I just thought it was so cute because it's like, you know, Starbucks and Bucky and adorable. So that's the first one. Um, and the second one is an Avatar The Last Airbender Kyoshi Warriors t-shirt. And I love this because I love Avatar The Last Airbender. I have worn it before. I just... I need to spice it up and make it look better on me and more flattering than just like a baggy t-shirt. Hi and welcome to my channel. I am still misplaced, displaced, misplaced. I'm still displaced. I'm not in my regular bedroom setup that I usually am in. I still have some reconstruction going on due to some water problems. So we're going to work with what we got here. And in this case, it is my hallway. So <laughs> I'm still gonna make some videos. Today's video, as you can tell, is a t-shirt reconstruction video. Um, I had this idea a while ago, like a couple months ago, and I wanted to make a video showing off like some t-shirt ideas of how you can change up the t-shirts in your closet. This idea came from a couple t-shirts that I bought from Dragon Con last year, which is a convention that I, I go to like every year. Um, and I bought these t-shirts because I loved the design, but I'm not really a t-shirt person. Like, I started collecting t-shirts ever since I go to Dragon Con, just because I feel like at the convention, they've got shirts that like I've never really seen before. They're all really unique designs and I love them. I feel like I buy the t-shirts with the idea of reconstructing them and making them look like better and more flattering on me in mind. The first thing I'm going to do is iron them so when I'm cutting them, they can just be nice and crisp and everything. Um, and yeah, let's get started. I have a couple designs in mind. I looked up the characters just to compare their character design with the t-shirt design and then I hopped on Pinterest and I looked up a bunch of different uh, DIY t-shirt ideas. I liked the idea of the v-neck and then I fell into the safety pin fashion and I thought that was so cool for Bucky. I wanted a way to keep it light for the Starbucks side but still edgy for the Winter Soldier. For this project, you will need fabric scissors, safety pins, straight pins, a needle, preferably a thread that matches the color of the shirt that you have, and you'll also need a marking chalk, pencil, or marker, or just something to mark where you'll be cutting. Let's get started! The first thing to do is to fold your shirt in half, get a straight pin, and mark where you want the bottom of your v-line to be. Make sure that it is the middle of the shirt so you can have an even marking. And next, I was too nervous to use a marker right away. I used a pencil to freehand the, um, the neckline off camera and then I went over it with marker so you could see it better. And then you just cut it out. I was so nervous here because the way that I freehanded it, the first side looked perfect and this side was so... I was so nervous. Now cut along the collar of the neckline. Make sure it's clean and straight. Because I used the marker, I had to go back and cut out the parts that showed little purple markings. And now the neckline is done. Okay, so now we're on to the sleeves. So I'm going to turn the shirt inside out so you can see the seams better. And now I'm going to pin along the seam on the inside of the shirt. That way it'll be easier for you to cut on the outside of the seam where the sleeve is. So now that you've unpinned your shirt, turn it right side out and make sure you turn out your sleeve as well. And then you can start safety pinning them together. 
So when you safety pin it, it's going to hang like this. And then you can just continue to pin around the entire sleeve. So just do the same thing on the other sleeve and there you have it. I love this. I think it really worked out perfectly like the way I wanted. I'm gonna crop this for sure. Cause it's so, look how long it is guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna cut it and then I'm just gonna crop. I'm gonna cut it right below this straight pin just um, to give me like leeway just in case it's too short. But right now that's like where my belly button is and that's, I think that'll be good enough.